green flag in the air. Jake Baskarin alongside Cody Lamas takes the green flag here in the Sony Cup Series at Darlington. Baskarin gets a good start into the lead, but behind him, Luke Martin underneath all the way down to the bottom side, pushing him through and looks to take the lead himself on lap number one. Lamas gets shuffled back. Baskinger in trouble doing so himself. Coming across to finish the first lap is Luke Martin in the six car will lead the first lap. That lead, however, would not last long as Jordan Davis into turn number one. The second lap would take the lead from Luke Martin. It's projected to be a two-stop race for pit stops, pending if the whole race goes green. Davis leads Aaron Taylor, who is winless. Behind him in second place. Noah Hart already up to third. DJ Curtis and others, several trying to get into order and position in order to try and get up to the front. Several cars who had issues and who had trouble who had trouble in qualifying. It didn't qualify very well were the Yam yeah, Motorsports cars. Charles Sanford and James Sorfox were in the bottom five in the field. And now they and although they are slowly working their way up, they've got a lot of of trouble to work with here. They've got a lot of cars to pass through. Aaron Taylor going to get a piece of the five of Jordan Davis and almost just spun him around. And while Davis saves the car, that was a close call. Taylor just got a little bit too aggressive and didn't let off for the five. And now Noah Hart pinching his way up there, up, for, up to third, looking to try and pass Taylor and Davis and try to get himself in the lead. Looking up all the way in the back here. As Dom Caps wants to go three wide with Silver Fox and Mason. Silver Fox slides up, back up to the track, saves the car. And Caps almost just dumped him straight up into Mace. That would not have ended very well. So far, so far, not so good for Cody Lamas and Baskinger. That's the front row. And Baskinger getting a little taste of the wall. Luke Barn also getting a small taste of the wall. That has been the trouble spot the whole weekend. Turn two. A lot of teams have been smashing the wall off the turn. And it's caused a lot of problems, but Lamas and Baskinger from 10th to 12th within eight laps. That's that's not good at all. Hard, oh, a little bit above a bump and run to Aaron Taylor as Noah Hart gives a little bit of a nudge to the 60 to move him out of the way. And now Hart looking for the number five of Jordan Davis to try and take the lead here. Problems for Nick Mason, the 48. He has blown an engine here on lap 11. Big. Big trouble for the 48 team. They were looking for a really good day today after a rough qualifying and after being 34th. Very tough break for the 48 team. They're gonna lose it. They're gonna lose the car very early here. Noah Hart, just like Taylor, gonna give a nudge in turn one to Jordan Davison. Now the 47 into the lead. That how many we've seen that happen a lot this season. 47 in the lead. Oh man. But Hart doing a very good job so far in the controversial face clan paint scheme. Yeah, that, that paint scheme caused a lot of a lot of uh, eerie controversy during the off season, and oh boy, I bet those people are not enjoying that car being up in the front. Well, on the bright side, at least the uh, Finn guys say Tommy cars will finish last place today. Um, so, but however, Finn guy doing a very respectable job running up in 29th for the moment here. Him and James Shelley have been trouble getting these FPM cars up in the field every week, and. It's good to see them both in Darlington tonight, and they're not doing quite too terrible. Finn guys putting on a, a decent show performance for this team who have been really trying their best to improve, but they've struggled, and Finn guys trying to do everything he can to help. The three-car fight for the lead continues on. Noah Hart just got nudged out of the way by Aaron Taylor for the lead, as Eric Byrne now looking to join the three-car fight and turn into a four-car fight. Four different teams up inside this top four here. Fifth place of Jesse Turner looking to try and get up there. Eugene and Max also coming up to the coming up through up to the leaders. Aaron Taylor knows this race is important. He has to get a win. He, although he's inside the chase right now, he needs to get a win for more security. That 60 team is very capable of staying in the top 25 in points, which they are. But he's got a lot of rough competition. Davis, Hart, and Burns, some of the best drivers in the Sony Cup Series are all going to challenge him for the win here. Here comes Jesse Turner in the 17. Part, I mean, Turner is just coming now. I mean, 
He just wants to push through as quick as he can. He wants to get by Noah Hart and put himself up to third. Davis, I guess, got knocked out by Taylor or something because that five car fell back pretty quick. But now Turner coming up to his teammate, Eric Burton, as they will control two of the top three cars. Yellow is out for a debris caution. However, we got some problems in the back as the 66 of William Brock puts the 62 of James Shelley into the wall for 40th place. All right. Well, that's a shame. Debris caution was already out, but Brock obviously frustrated with the 62 just dumps him into the corner. Green flag would come back out with Aaron Taylor as the leader after a round of pit stops shuffled some parts of the field. Aaron Taylor has led the majority of this race so far. However, he's got some trouble behind him as Eric Burton, one of his rival, one of the, against his rival Ford uh, team, against the rival Ford team, doing the best they can for the moment here. It's James Shelley, a lap down, getting shuffled to the back. He's, however, holding up Noah Hart pretty majorly. But here comes Eric Burton, who has been one of the fastest cars on the track, looking to make a move past the 60. Gets up to him, puts the bumper, just wants to get by him. Burton tries to go up. Jesse Turner, Burton's teammate, looking to try and help him make the pass. If he can complete it, this would be major. Eugene Max now on the bottom, looking. He wants to get up to third place and shuffle Taylor all the way to the back. And they do so. Davis gonna follow his teammate. Taylor again shuffled. Cooper Siron now up in up inside the top ten. He wants to push up there and get past Taylor as well. DJ Curtis also up there as well. Check this out. Now Turner wants to go by Burton. Teammates side by side heading into number one. Davis and Demax are gonna go wherever the line's fastest, and that's gonna be the bottom lane. And now Burton's gonna get shuffled. As his teammate takes the lead, I'm sure Byrne will remember that one. Davis now to second, Demax to third. Byrne's gonna drop like a rock, just like Taylor did. Check this out, Alec Cavanaugh running up in eighth place for the Blue Flame Motorsports team who have been struggling so far this season for the most part. Cavanaugh's given them their best run, one of their best runs of the season so far. And although he's getting past, he's done a pretty good job. Jeff James. Just passed by along with Dylan Young. They've worked their way forward. A lot of cars, a lot of fast cars were sent to the back during pit during pit stops or the rough, rough uh, pit crew moments after rough pit stops for the most part, but very interesting top 10 here. Those people that got sent to the back during pit stops was Noah Hart. Now, he didn't have a bad pit stop, but the problem was that he, he sped on entry to pit row and they penalized him and sent him all the way to the back of the pack. and. He's worked his way up to 18th now as he passes Vincent Allen, who just smacked the wall. Hart's got one of the fastest cars in the field, so he's having to fight his way up. He's got to get through Klein, his brother, and several others. Eugene DeMax leading for the first time today. He just came off a big win at Homestead, looking to try and add another win to his counter this season. He ended a long winless streak, and he ended a very, very long winless streak, and now he probably wants to make his own winless streak. He probably, wow, okay, he probably wants to make his own win streak here. Wants to go for two in a row. Oh, DJ Curtis wants to make love to the walls. That's what he just did. He just smashed it coming off the corner. Uh, running in fourth place, and yeah, that's going to ruin some of them. Now he's got some major right side damage. That's going to slow down the 19 a good bit. Jordan Davis hit the wall pretty bad, and now he's starting to fall very rapidly. Just four laps ago, he was in fifth. Now he's going to be all the way down to, I think, outside the top 10, maybe even 12 at this rate. Noah Hart back there, lurching up there. He's just about to pass by his brother to make the pass for 14th. And he's going to get 13th out of this. And look who's going to try and uh, scrap heaps to here. It's going to be a blue flare car in the name of Alan Cavanero who's trying to stay inside the top 20 and give this team one of its best finishes of the year. Trouble! Dylan Young's got problem, man! He just got slain by Jake Gapar, and now Alan Cavanero, Noah Hardwitz get involved. They just wrecked. 
Whoa, that's a big accident. Several cars diving out of the way. Oh boy, they're all sliding everywhere. Could be another accident. Young dives down to pit road if something is wrong with that car. Hard, Jacob Hart slides to pit road. Noah Hart with a lot of damage as the caution is out. That was very quick. That was that Nova 78 just came to a stop and Jacob Hart with nowhere to go just clobbered him there. So we're going to look at a replay here. Yeah, Young just comes to a, a like the car just stops and Jacob Hart nowhere to go. And several others getting damaged. Alan Cavanero getting damaged. That's a shame. That car was doing pretty good. Noah Hart, who was the fastest car in the field. And that's not going to help his points lead. Although he's got a two-race points lead. It's probably not going to hurt him too much. But tough break for both of the hard, for, for both of the Fuel Brothers cars. Now the whole field just came down pit road to get the pit stop. That would have allowed them to finish the race under green without pitting again. But... Whatever James Sorfox is on, I want some of it because for some reason the 28 car just stayed out, didn't even bother to come down pit road and take tires or even fuel. So I don't know what the 28 team's trying to pull here. James Shelley, the only lap car on the bottom. But Sorfox for Yam Motorsports just didn't even take didn't take fuel. He didn't take tires, and I was gonna get swarmed by Jesse Turner. Whatever 28 team tried it didn't work Silver Fox now pitting why on earth did he stay out then that is a ridiculous call he didn't he, I mean, he led like three laps for it but that just that's a dumb move I'm not sure what was going on that 28 team but however, Jesse Turner will assume the lead quite easily because of it. And James Shelley a lap down trying to do the best he can here. Oh, there's going to be a huge scramble here. And Damax coming up and makes contact with the 60 of Aaron Taylor. And that's going to knock the 60 out of line. And now Jeff James, who has assumed second place for the, and the highest he's been this whole day. He's been not much of a factor so far. And... Bradley Bishop Jr. also up here. A lot of cars got a really good, it's got some really good pit stops here, like the 9 and the 01. But James Shelley holding some of these guys up. They don't have, they've got about 15 laps to catch up to Jesse Turner. Whoa, yellow flags out. Caution just came out. Someone just racked. Oh, there's a big one coming off turn. Turn two, we got someone flipping. That's Jordan Davis in the five. Michael White with major damage. Davis stuck on his side. Caps, Michael White, Lamas, Nevins, Fitzwater, Dylan Young, William Brock, Levi Pascal, Togger with damage, Siren with a lot of damage, DeLeo has been par has been put on pit road, Pollard, Lynn, Harple's even got damage. That's that was a lot of, a lot of cars. Charlie Smith's got right side damage. Dom Caps. Sudden accident with just less than 15 to go. What on earth? All started with Cooper Sauron we're hearing. Oh, just like, oh wow, similar to Dylan Young's where the car just came to a stop and everybody had, and so many people nowhere to go. Dory Davis just, just started flipping out of nowhere. Oh my God. Sauron, like Dylan Young, just, car just stopped and that caused the whole field to check up and crash let's watch Jordan Davis here I mean he just took, he went for a scary ride there several cars Michael White just clobbered into him and oh my that is a violent tumble for Jordan Davis oh my god medical crew is swarmed to the five team they have swarmed to the five car with Michael White. We're gonna see how what happened. We'll see. Yeah, just whole field just started wrecking, nowhere to go. White, so many others. And look at that. Oh my god. Oh, Noah Hart got a was in there pretty bad. And dang, Michael White got a very scary view of that one. And walks over to check on the Yeah, you see he drove over to check on the five. Just drove away. Now on board with Sean Harple.
Good God. On board with Jordan Davis in the cockpit. Surprisingly, the camera survived. Jesse Turner with nine laps to go. We'll assume the green flag. Um, we'll update on Jordan Davis. He has just been airlifted to the local ho he has just been airlifted to the local hospital. We're not quite sure if he's okay or not. He didn't get out of the car on his own power, unfortunately, but the stewards have decided to let the race finish on. Only a couple more laps to go. Jesse Turner in the lead. With Jeff James second, Demax third. Bradley Bishop fourth, Luke Martin fifth, Zebulon Stark up to sixth place. Not a lot of time left to make a move and go for the win here as a lot of cars were taken out in that accident. Jeff James trying to get up to the 17. He wants a piece of Turner. And remember, Jesse Turner is 27th in the point standings. He has to get up to the top 25 to have his chase win count. If he can get another one here, He's going to have a really, he's going to increase his points. He's going to get back into the top 25 quite swiftly here. However, Jeff James, well, had something to say about it, but had to back off in the corner. Teammates here, Bishop, the rookie, battling Martin, Stark, Eric Byrne, Taylor, a bunch of cars who have ran well today. Richard Johnson up into the top 10. And Nick Pericles up to 11th. Richie Max making a move for second place on Jeff James. He's going to hit the corner panel. He's going to get this 0-1 loose. And James hits the slides and hits the wall off the corner. And now Martin goes by. Demax, no mercy to the 0-1. Just punch, just basically knocked him out of the way. And now Demax coming up to five laps to go. Looking to pass Turner and get a second straight win. Luke Martin in third. He wants a piece of the action. Turner goes wide into the corner. Demax stays firmly in the middle. Martin took the low line. And now here comes Martin with a big head of steam into turn number three. Bishop passes by Jeff James. Taylor wants to get up there as quick as he possibly can. Stark is falling all the way down to the back. It's fall it's well, he's, not, he's starting to fall all the way down to the back because he hit the wall as well here. Bishop with Burton. Still got a fight up here. Demax trying to get the run off Turner. Three car fight for the win here. Martin from third trying to pass by and get, I believe, his first win of the season. Turner, however, stays firm. That 17 car has been very fast all day long. And he's just got to hold out here. Luke Marr now, he wants to get by Demax for second place. He gets the 24 loose, gets him loose again. And contact there off the corner, Six Passing the 24 very aggressively there. Made contact with him off the corner, just forced him, forced the 24 to give up. And now here comes Martin. He wants to get past Turner. Two laps to go. Does Martin have enough time to get to Turner? Martin Motorsports versus Turner Fenway. The two rival four teams. It's a slow car. William Brock, it looks like he's going to play a factor. He is about 30 miles per off the pace. Will Brock get out of the way? If he stays firm till the white flag is out, Turner in the lead. Martin with a whole head of steam off turn number four into turn number one. Here comes Mark Martin on the bottom. I mean, Luke Martin on the bottom. <laughs> But Mark, Mark Martin would love this, but Luke Martin all the way down the bottom. He's side by side with Turner. Side by side at turn number three for the final time. Luke Martin is going to go right on by Jesse Turner. And coming off turn four, Luke Martin with the last lap pass here at Dante takes the checkered flag to get, I believe, his first win of the year. A big last lap pass. And Martin just stole it from Jesse Turner. Great finish. Turner with a big heartbreak. Luke Martin with the big win here at Darlington. 
Bradley Bishop Jr., very impressive fourth place for a rookie. Eric Byrne gets a top five. Taylor with the sixth. Andre Salen, impressive seven. Stark with an impressive eighth place. Richard Johnson, ninth. Hayden Klein gets a solid tenth place. Vincent Allen. Sanford manages a scrounge. Wow, Jeffrey Finguy with a 14th place for Finguy Saitomi Motorsports. How about that? That is the best finish that 92 team has had, I believe, and a very impressive run for Finguy. Nice job to that team. Good job. Noah Hart, despite no hood, and ended up being in about two crashes, gets 24th still. Lamas, after starting second, falls to 20th. A big win for Luke Martin. And we are hoping for the best for Jordan Davis as we are unsure of how his condition is for the moment. However, this has been a, present, a presentation of the Sony Cup Series and we hope you have enjoyed this race. As congratulations to Luke Martin on the win here at Darlington and for an excellent last lap pass on Jesse Turner. <laughs>